All right, so back to this. Yeah, I mean, don't really know what to say, I guess. First things first, I don't actually have the uh, previous part uploaded, but by the time you should see this, it, you're seeing this, it should be up, right? You know, because I'm just going to upload them in order. You know, I can upload like two, three a night at about, you know, that rate. So just being one behind or even two isn't that big of a deal. So just the usual, you know, sometimes I forget, right? But with that, again, that's, I guess, kind of irrelevant to this, right? But, you know, with that out of the way, and that being said, right? Something to where, as for this, I will say for this part, I don't know if it's obvious, but so basically yesterday I got the uh, COVID booster. So I just put it out there, you know, uh, and it's, I'm, I'm not feeling the grace after it. I mean, it happened after the first one as well. So it's like, you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. So it's just like, I feel fine enough to, you know, record this, but it's like, you know, again, if, if anything seems off, that's probably what it is feeling a bit like sick have the snivels a bit cold right? i'm actually wearing freaking sweats sweatpants and then freaking like bathrobe over so i'm warm now but like if i were to take it off i'd be like cold even with like my bathroom was a hood so i'm wearing that too so i'm warm now but it's like if i were to remove this any layers like i'd be pretty cold so again still not as bad as the the first booster i got like that was pretty fucking terrible like i don't i woke up in the middle of the night like freezing and shivering and i was like okay yeah this is rough but for this, you know, I was able to get up in the morning, run, you know, and it's only now where I'm kind of feeling it a bit. But also that's just because I think it's the middle of winter and the house is cold. So that's a bit more understandable, you know, uh, I guess, again, you know, never got exposed to like COVID or like, like I had, well, first off, had zero reaction to the first two. So it's like, and I had them within like a month of each other so it's like okay whatever but then both boosters like kick my ass so who, who the fuck knows I'm, I'm not smart enough to know like which isn't the greatest but i'm not smart enough to know like what goes on with that you know or at least if it's even different from like a normal vaccine so because i have a general premise or like idea of how it works but i don't know the science behind it i'm not like a step major or anything so <laughs> again i guess I was never exposed to COVID, so I don't have any natural, like, antibodies or immunities. I was never even in contact with anyone. It's it's weird, like, going through this pandemic and then, like, which I guess is shit. It's been, like, what, coming up on three years now? So it's pretty much, I don't want to say it's over, but it's basically over. It's dying down, right? You know, it's it's been that way for about, like, the past year, maybe, like, year and a half, it feels like. But, again, with that, it's just something to where it's, like, I mean, going through and then, like, not like really it not having affected me it's like it's a bit of a weird so but i guess i should just be thankful for that you know and hopefully this is the last booster i mean i probably won't even get i didn't even really want to get this one it was just more so it, it just ended up being really convenient because i got the first two because those were like required they're mandatory for you know uh our college or they weren't technically but it was like the alternative would be like testing every day and it's like i'm not doing that shit but then I got the booster when that came out because it was like the whole six months after thing, right? And it just lined up. And then this one, because it's been like about a year, maybe close to like a year and a half since I'd gotten that. And it's like, it just ended up being like, okay, you know, I might as well. Like, it, it's like, it was just a really convenient time for me to do it now. Um, even I'm back at home and everything. So it's like kind of whatever. And I got my flu shot with it too. So it's like, you know, that that's like a normal one I get. But yeah, but it's like, again, we'll see. Like if I had the natural antibodies, I probably wouldn't bother with this shit, but Again, I've never, which I should be thankful for, but that's besides the point, you know, going off on, uh, you know, disregarding that, because then it's also like, you know, how much money did I give to fucking, well, I didn't give money, my insurance did, but how much money did I give to Pfizer? <laughs> how many, how much did other people give to Pfizer? Who knows, right? But that's, that's besides the point. But anyway, for this though, right, it's like, uh, I guess going back to this, you know, where we left off, Um, and again, I'm still only doing singles, but like by the time you see the next one go up again and you can see january 31st february 3rd february 17th so it's like by the time you see uh was it that one go up right it's like for the previous one this one right you should know that's been like a hiatus and i'm only doing one a day now even though i technically could do two it's like at least until i'm done with yours or i'm just gonna be doing one a days just because i really don't see a point but again and where we left off is for this because in the last part we only did a 50 minute which is still a lot but it's like you know, we left off right at, um, as 
like basically again because obviously where we left off before the break and hiatus was on this scene right well in the previous part where we left off was after they had kind of went over and discussed it all and now they kind of i guess no one wants to say moved on but you know they've the topic of discussion has shifted right from you know everything and also given that the mc he found out both truths right you know that a you know she's uh cut in addict right and b that her parents are dead which we suspected that my suspicion was that mother is 100 dead dad's probably like mia or out of the picture or something but they ended up both being there we still need to know what happened because we don't know that's now the big thing just more so for us it's like the uh player right mm. but with that it's like i guess who knows if we'll even find out right you know and then also that may tie back to you know some of these choices if these choices have a sort of impact there but I guess we'll see, but we won't see until we uh, just get into it. So it's like, again, change of topic. So yeah, they're they're like, I assume this will get brought up, but they had their big conversation, you know, about it and regarding it, given that he kind of caught her in the eye, caught her right-handed there. So after effects of the morning still linger, you're still on edge, literally and figuratively, we're able to work around it. Because again, she had the urge. And then I, I was, I remember saying like, there's no way the MC lets that happen unless he's an asshole. Like he, he literally just physically restrain her. And prevent her from doing it. So, I mean, the horror actually stemmed completely from chance. Again, you know, it's good to like talk about this shit, you know, be transparent because, you know, you bottle this shit up and then, you know, it eats you away from the insides. Like, she never really had someone or something, like anyone really or anything to vent to, right? And it's like, that's also why, you know, he brought the idea of like, you know, therapy or whatever, right? But it's like, because he can't do everything, right? You know, he's, or like, I mean, he's a boyfriend, right? But it's like, you know, that's more so as like support rather than actually like, he's not a freaking, you know, he's still in high school, right? They're still stuck in here. So he doesn't know how to fucking fix this shit or like, you know, at least like help with it, right? Uh, besides just being there for there, of course. But with my parents, I was a rainy day, so I couldn't go outside. I was confined to the house. And then she like randomly went upon the book for something new. My copy of an old ghost story, my father left and began reading. Because probably, you know, if you're a dad, you're not going to be like, Oh, hey, uh, daughter, here's this, like, horse story that's, like, freaking, like, what would you call it? Like, uh, like, depending on how young they are, it's like, oh, read this and it'll scar you, right? But obviously, she just happened to wander on it. Book for adults. I didn't really understand. I was able to get a general gist. Again, it's a, uh, what would you call it? It's a book that he probably read. I was surprised he even reading it. Clearly, didn't expect, again, you know, he's like, wait, you're reading that? Like, um, I'm not sure you understand it, but let's quote him for being so careless. Like the idea of a young Darby in such a dark tale. This is, this is, I already know what I'm going to talk about here, but this is like such a fucking, you know, extreme example. But like, it's like that for, you know, uh, guns, right? Like a big thing being if you're like a gun owner, right? And you have kids, you need to keep that shit like locked up, right? Because the idea being that, you know, like chances are, you know, there's a higher chance that they like somehow get it and then like shoot themselves or shoot something, right? You know, as opposed to someone actually like breaking in and you need to use it to like, defend your home but that's why like gun safes are a thing so it's like you don't just leave that shit like lying around you're not like oh i keep that shit in the fucking desk drawer right or i keep it in the fucking you know glove box it's like okay glove box maybe but it's like like just it's like oh i keep it in the desk drawer i keep it in the nightstand like that's not the move there you're 100 percent more likely like gonna fire off some like rounds just negligently as opposed to actually do it especially if you keep it loaded like my freaking oh my god one of my fucking roommates because it I don't own a gun. I've been looking to gain one. I was looking to gain like a pistol, like a P, uh, shit, was it six hour, like P365? You know what it is? Cause I got small ass hands. So I literally walked to a gun shop and I'm like, okay, what's good guns for people with small hands? And he handed me that. It's like, shit, this feels perfect. I, I know I don't need a freaking, I don't need like a desert eagle, but it's like the big thing there is that's like, you know, oh, like I live in an apartment with like roommates currently. So it's like probably gonna wait till I live on my own. Um, one of my freaking roommates has one and he was showing me he handed it to me i take out the magazine and it's fucking fully loaded and i'm like dude you like good thing i checked because it was like again you know i was like dude like like okay like i understand if you're like living on your own or you are but like we live in a four bed apartment like it, it's not going to be that serious dog and we live in a complex where like other people are armed too so i was like dude like like I could have, I could just like pointed this shit at you, like without knowing it was loaded, and then like actually that would have been like, like he probably would have fucking been like, because obviously he knew it was loaded, but I didn't, right? It was just a good thing I checked, but that's besides the point. But the big thing being like, again, it's not even necessarily carelessness because you can't, you know, blame them for getting that. It's more so like 
you need to think about that ahead of time, prepare for it. Right. So if he was like really worried, if it was something that they were really worried about, you know, he'd keep his books in like, you know, a bookshelf, maybe like too high up for the daughter to reach or something. Right. You know, but obviously it's a, it's a very extreme example in comparison to like firearms, but you know, again, it, it's basically the same concept or principle. That's like, you know, you, you gotta keep that shit under wraps. Right. You know, and that's, that's part of being clean and neat. Right. You know, things having a place and I guess like not purpose, but having a place and, like stuff where you put things right so it's like you don't just leave shit lying around but you know remember pretending to be apologetic it's outside you could ask he's like hey I, I, he's like you passed the test i was leaving that out for you uh they didn't really understand so he offered to read with me so he's he's like damn let me show you this shit so he 100 percent, he just planted it so that she could find it and read it but story about it must be good if you remember it yeah shit what was it about you see it's an old victorian tale about a young governess who was sent to look after her family's young child young children in at their summer home okay so it's literally just like a nanny it's a passionate fire in her eyes and a fervor only see when you're talked about it and again you know better to get her mind off of you know what has happened or what's been happening you know the mc found out about someone ever shames someone for such a passion seems to me okay listen i understand you like her right you only love her you're like all lovey-dovey right you know boyfriend girl for months like you need, you need to understand like how you see her and then who you know her as is just fundamentally different from what like random ass people and like strangers know them as like because the thing is on the outside because it's not even necessarily that because they don't know that you know she's like oh about this specific story that her dad showed her right like they don't know that to them it's just like oh you know it's the is like the world girl who doesn't talk with anyone and then like because it, it's honestly mostly like here i could say this from experience like it's mostly a sociable issue like socializing issue because if you just don't socialize you don't interact with others regardless of what you do on your own people are just going to view it as weird because rather than you interacting and socializing with them and then that being something where okay they know about you because you're talking with them right they're just going to make assumptions and you know bridge the gap between what they see from you and then your motivations right so like like it doesn't even need to be like a horror thing right like if you're just like if you were the weird kid who would just like play games right like it, let's be real because that's that'd be i guess like the kind of the male version it's like people would still like assume shit about you right and then like depending on what games you play it's like because the, the, that's the big thing you bridge in that gap right and again it's so it's hard for someone like her right you know for me i was only able to do it because of the fun forcing function of you know like sports and athletics right if i didn't have that i'd be like the weird quiet king class right you know because i'm just naturally that way you know but it's like obviously she doesn't really she doesn't have that so it's like people just look and then assume right it, it's not this like oh you know they're evil people you know they're terrible people humanity sucks you know kids like school kids suck right it's not that thing you know it's easy to jump to that assumption but you need to realize right you know it's something that were these like i guess quote unquote like normal people right the big thing is that they have like friend groups and clicks and socialize and interact so like if you were to look at some random person right like outside of your friend group regardless of if they have their own friend group or if you know they're on their own right they're kind of a loner like you still view them the same way because you just don't fucking know who they are right you know it's like it's something where again you're it's bridging the gap right and again you know at least because also you have different classes every day in high school right so it's like you know, like if you're unable to do that, then that's where this stuff star starts to happen. And it's not because like, oh, whore is a nerdy, geeky thing, right? Which it may be, but it's more so like, how does the person who indulges in it come across? You know, grand, I'm not a psychologist, but figures of a man, woman around the house. Servants deny seeing such figures. 100% it's on the servants, bro. The nurse learns that our predecessor used to have a relationship with an our employee before the two died. Spent much time with the children. Okay, so they're ghosts, right? Haunted. Go oh, well and haven't been seen by our employees. She expects that they are supernatural. Remember, but well, I'll never forget the clever writing. As rear as she's like, that probably they all died, you know. We given any concrete answers to so the figures are real. That's literally this mod with the fucking Halloween thing. We still have no idea if where where do I have it saved? Oh, I don't have the Halloween thing saved. Oh, we still have no idea if that was an actual like ghost or not. What was up with that? Are the ghosts of these people really prowl around? So just imagine it. That's probably an interpretation, you know. Maybe she's like freaking, you know, I don't know, just if it's only her and she's hallucinating, right? Mm. There's also a thing to take into consideration. She's the main character, so you're through her POV. But if it were through someone else's POV, they're just like, who's this fucking crazy person, like hallucinating shit, right? Mm. Again, bridging the gap, socializing, right? Oh, that's the big thing I brought up. 
It does seem kind of coincidental how ghosts seem to perfectly match the profile. Which, dude, you haven't read. Why are you talking as if you read it, bro? Is the young boy was revealed to have been expelled and to that he did earn such punishment. What he did to earn such a punishment and with suspicious outlook is natural with the rear doubts and his claims of innocence with the governess asks. Okay, so, you know, it's just family drama, basically, you know. It's just, uh, I assume this is like some freaking, like, not even necessarily first world problems, but some freaking fucking, uh, what would you call it, like, royal issues. This is like some fucking, like, you know, when you're, if you're, like, in a ruler or, in like, you know, an influential, or what's the term? Um, If you're in a prosperous, like, family, like, this is probably the shit that they go through. It's like, oh, you know, it's the apparitions, creepy, suspicious children. Here's in that dude, like, what the fuck? The plot sounds exceptionally gripping. Well, what's the name of the book, then? The dreamy tone, she speaks. My father encouraged me to question whether the ghosts were real. Shit, who the fuck knows? You know, again, right? It's like, because obviously you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, oh, you know, of course they're real, right? You know, but then it's like, usually, I mean, who who knows, really, right? Things at face value. The governess said she saw them, so that's what I believed. It, compared to like, let's say, you know, if it were like a movie, right, it'd be easier to kind of determine, but because it's a book and you're just reading words, it's all like in your head, you know, it's what you're imagining it to look like, right? Approach things from our angle, considering our viewpoints, hope on my ap- appreciation, wonder if the ghosts were real, well, shit, who knows? And the approach came from your dad. Yeah, probably. Why the fuck do I keep like clicking off this? He was always methodical and organized, so it's given his personality ripped off. That's a good thing, you know, that's like, it's a good thing to have because like i know like because i like to view myself like i i feel like i'm kind of this way in terms of like you know at least how i go about doing things and i feel like it really helps out you know compared to like just kind of like oh i'm gonna wing it right you know that's like the mentality that i kind of hate but they'd be really proud of you and then now again you know he's kind of affirming her you know it's getting more serious here you could see you now so he leaked down a phrase because again you know we know the implication that he's not here it's so much from him because again they never found out you know but uh, of course we now know from her right and then that they were good parents they weren't just deadbeats right because that's that's the typical you know assumption like oh they're deadbeats right you know but that's that's too black and white right so we all have our demons what is their regret and things they don't want to again you know live my, my general idea is live life without regrets right i don't really have much regrets you know because that's what eats away at you you know you don't want to live a life full of regret there are people if they judge you for things you like to your quiet nature. Because again, I feel like there's too much, like a, a lot of like way, a lot of the ways, you know, people write things, right? You know, or the, the ways that people, you know, um, like dramatic, like dramatize things, right? You know, it's like they make a lot of, you know, high, like specifically like high school shit like this, you know, kind of unrealistic when it comes to like the drama and, you know, the uh, social life, I guess, when it comes down to it. You know, it's like the whole like bullying. Like, I feel like they do like that's a general trope or like issue with DSM. That's just bullying is just done like terribly, right? You know, let's be real here. Like, it, it's not like, oh, you know, bully is just like bad person, right? So they just bully because it's fun or for a sake. Like, usually there's like more stuff going on, right? You know, there's a good, there's actually, funny enough, there's a good Keen Peel sketch on it, right? Um, That's more so from the side of the bully, but even from the side of the person game bully, usually like, like, because you're not going to go out of your way, you know, to fuck with someone, right? Because, like, that that's just generally a thing, you know. Uh, like, you, you kind of need to put yourself in the crossfire for it to be, for it to really be a thing, right? You know, it's like, like, you're not going to, like, if you're, like, in actual inconvenience, then, like, it's like, oh, fuck it, you know, this person, like, they, they do their own shit, right? But, because, you know, like, for example, you know, so... Full transparency. I used to be like a bully in like middle school. Well, not not even middle school, more like grade school. But that's like you know fucking however long ago I was young, like grade school, middle school. Then the big thing was I got into like sports, and that's kind of how I took it out, right? Because for me, I think for me the issue was like just again full transparency. I used I wasn't like special needs or like mentally like handicapped or disabled. I just had some like what what's the term? I just needed like help when it came to like I guess development is a way to put it. Like that's like I had issues with like the for me the big thing was, was speech and then like um just more like general like I think like I don't want to say OCD because that's like the most common fucking trope that people drop but I think more so like issues regarding um at least being up to par speed with like other kids in terms of like being in the classroom environment so that was something throughout grade school so I think that was something I was really like insecure about and then you know, took it out on ours and then you know that'd be like and during middle school and then like high school also because i stopped growing too like i'm only five seven so it's like you know let's be real here right 
all of a sudden it's like okay i'm, I'm a short you know light skater like i'm not gonna be fucking around with people and then i took it out on, on sports anyway right you know more positive more productive i guess coping mechanism but again like even then and then in college you know i did like that's that's just not even a thing i will say now though so like with my work i have about like 40 like acquaintances right you know people that i work with one of the dudes it's like actually kind of funny so I work, I don't want to say high, well, but kind of is high stress. You know, it's a high demands, you know, uh, like, what well, I don't want to say profession, but it's like my current line of work until like April. It's, it's kind of high demands, except when I get this off time, right? You know, so there's this one dude who's kind of like on the fat side, right? But this dude, he's like, he just, like, it's not even that he's fat. It's just, he does so many fat things. Like he just, like, for example, this is a dude who he wears suspenders, right? You know, when like nobody else does we all like have just like adjustable belts right so it's like okay you know you can just freaking adjust it this dude wears like suspenders it's like okay you know <laughs> right he wears suspenders he whenever we go out to do like i guess field train or whatever you know go out to do like our actual like actual work like this dude brings like fucking you know it's not even that he brings like snacks he brings like a whole ass like if you know what a jet boil is right this dude brings like a, it's like basically a mini like pocket like stove that you used to boil and like heat up water and it's like all right come on dude like is and we all kind of make fun of it for him so i guess that'd be like the instance here but it's like if the dude like okay because he kind of sucks at ryan too right but that's like you know understandable because he's fat like you wouldn't make fun of him for that so we, we make fun of him for the fact that he fucking wears suspenders and then brings like his whole ass like meals out it's like dude like it's like come on dude you can be fat but you can't do fat things so it's like that's that's kind of the thing here right it's like i, I feel like you know because this is something where also like you know because for me, it's like if if I didn't have my sports in high school, I probably would have ended up being on the flip side. Maybe it would have been karma, but you know, from being the holy to going to get bullied, right? But it's like I feel like people it, again, it's just this over dramatization, right? Of this shit, and it's like you know, but I'm I've wasted enough time talking. Let's uh, I'm going. I love your characteristics. Well, no shit, sure, like you're a fucking boyfriend. You hate them. I love them. That they make you who you are. Because if we were all perfect, you know, then we'd all be the same, right? So hurry, you join collecting knives. Who has any right to shame you for it? You know, it depends on what those knives are being used for. He still didn't find out whether she actually uses them or not, or just the razor blades. They don't like, just be a watery smile. Thank you. They do mean so much. But I've met someone like you in my life is I can't describe it into words. It must be tough then, even if, if even you can't describe it. Does it sound that, sounds like a mix of a laugh and a sob. Because again, we know really that even though she's friends with people in the club, right? He's kind of the only one who like means it. And again, that's the whole Sayori jealousy thing too, right? Don't mind me asking, when's your parents? Damn, fucking, you know, uh, way to be up front, right? Hey, you don't have to answer. Last for, okay, that, so we actually fuck, holy shit, if you remember the fucking, what was the mod? Never ending tomorrow. I'm pretty sure his, the MC's parents die in a car crash. I, I'm pretty sure, you know, we never finished it because it wasn't complete, but I, I think it's, yeah, never ending tomorrow. They died in a car crash too. Shit, maybe it was the same one. Her parents were in the other car. So sorry. And last, Fe so last February, so what, wait hold on what what it, it's post christmas it's post like winter it's the new is it was this literally like a year ago i think that's what that's implying that this is basically a year ago because i would have assumed like oh you know what happened when she's younger but i guess it also makes sense logistically in terms of oh how is she able to keep the house you know shit like that right and this is also extremely interesting because now we can take a look at this and then apply it to sayori's route right like for example we never had any clue or indicator you know that her parents weren't around, you know, were in the picture, you know, they died, right? I think we had one that it's like, I think she mentioned it was the first Christmas she hadn't, you know, spent with her parents, right? Again, and we just assume maybe they're busy doing shit similar to the MCs, but in actuality, now we know, given the context of her route, you know, they're dead, right? And that's one of my favorite things about these type of, you know, route-based mods, right? Is that, you know, with the clues and, you know, information you get from certain routes you know you can uh, put them in and apply them to our routes because now we're thinking more about okay what now we know kind of what yuri went through in sayori's round why she was so desperate to like stay close to the mc because she was really technically all she had there right even though he was with sayori sensitive of me to ask i'm i'm glad that i now know so you know a lot of things from you so it's only if that's true right again because also now that they're actually relationship like this shit you can't really hide from them right and again you're my boyfriend right it's a little strange to say that yeah, I mean, yeah, it's good. Not a bad way. Why do I keep clicking off? Exactly the same way. Honorably, it's such a dude. Come on, bro. Like this, you can't go for a serious ass conversation just like freaking glowing her, right? Like he's kind of plan. Don't be silly. You have such a big heart. 
He's he's like I have freaking he's like I have a tumor. <laughs> it's like I have heart cancer or whatever. I have heart palpitations. To be honest, I'm surprised. It's like my heart grew three times its size. And again, okay, so ignoring you know the jokes I'm making, like she's bringing this up, and it's like again the history versus the chemistry, because especially given that we know that's it, he ended up with Sayori and her obviously. So it's like you know it was just the one who he naturally had history with who also had, again, Yuri's was kind of like a side plot thing, but she wasn't never really, you know, at that level versus this, where it's like, I mean, he got with Yuri. So obviously they have the chemistry here, but like Sayori again, you know, still the one who he has history with child and friends with. And it still, you know, plays an extremely important part, you know, is this very important to him there, but Sayori and I, even you're and again, you would have gotten together. That's, and again, you know, cause she's like, well, it's the first, cause Really, he hadn't seen her since, you know, whenever. But again, when they he joined the club, right, and started, kind of started seeing her again. Much better. And again, because here's the thing, right? Look at me. It's a little bit of coaxing. She reluctantly makes eye contact. Wonderful friend. Yes, we have. But again, it's also interesting because he kind of got somewhat of an insight or somewhat of a glimpse, but never to like the full extent. And then even Yuri, it's also interesting to know or interesting to think about that, again, when it comes down to her, right, it's something to where – she actually, you know, had, and we learned since yours are, she always had a sneaking suspicion that Sayori is kind of going through some shit, right? So it's interesting for her to, again, bring this up with that, you know, kind of context that she might know more about Sayori than the MC in this situation. But obviously, because it's not as simple as, oh, you know, we're great friends, because obviously she knows what's going on behind the scenes. But I'm actually going to pause it here. All right. So I'm back. It's not even on the screen. Hold on. It's again just had to use the bathroom. Like anytime I pause in the middle, it, it's on pretty much always 100 for bathroom, right? But you know, I'm not gonna freaking hold in for 30 minutes and destroy my fucking you know uh, insides, right? But it is what it is, right? You know that's why I pause. <laughs> I have a pause function, but anyway, back to what we were saying. Again, the big thing here, right? You know, they have that history, right? Not living in the past, but again, here's the thing, and it's it's in, it'll be interesting because. They haven't really done anything with Sayori. Like, I hate to say it. They haven't really done anything with Sayori in this route. And that's probably my biggest critique. You know, she doesn't... It's almost as if she just doesn't fucking exist, right? Like, in Sayori's route, what was interesting was kind of the Yuri side plan, Yuri side story going on. And that was, like, some of my favorite parts of the mod, right? You know, one thing I love with these is kind of, you know, what they do with, like, the other characters, right? Whose route you're not on. Because what they do kind of shows you really how much they care. Like, the you know, if there's stuff and the more you tend to do with, like, those other, you know, side characters whose route you're not on, you know, the more they care about the actual route they're writing, right? Like, in this, we haven't really done anything with Sayori. Like, I hate to say, but it's like, you know, even the R1 suit, right? But in Sayori's, that was a really, like, you know, probably the highlight of the mod where there was, like, Yuri's side interactions. Funny enough, now we're on Yuri's route, but... But again, the big thing there is also, again, in this way I mentioned, was that Yuri having to sneak in suspicion that, you know, Sayori may be going through some shit. So it's interesting, kind of... And she's probably bringing this up to kind of gauge how he feels, right? Because I don't think she's actually worried that, oh, they're going to end up together. She's curious about how, you know, he feels about her, right? And she's probably asking similar questions, or at least, you know, she's probably having similar interactions with Sayori, right? You know, where she's trying to gauge how Sayori feels about the MC, right? You know, and again, like, especially if she has her own sneaking suspicions about what may be going on behind the scenes. It's like, you know, again, it's more so like, because the MC, his wrong and his like false assumptions kind of that she's worried about, like, see, or he's stealing the MC from, or I think Yuri's smarter than that. She's, I think, more worried about, okay, you know, what's like, there's more shit going on than what meets the eye. I like, what, what is it, right? And I have a special connection that I can't explain. They either drew me in all those months ago. Shit, I guess, you know, they had a moment. So happy. But again, right? Wouldn't you rather have a girl instead of a broken, miserable mess? Shake my head. That's not, because again, we know the truth, right? Granted, you know, again, that just was simply, and it's also quite possible to do different writers, you know, in Sayori's route, Yuri had her sneaking suspicions regarding Sayori. Maybe they don't exist in this route. You know, maybe she's actually genuinely saying that. And that would be kind of, because also we did know and then talk about character differences in the routes, right? You know, I, I talked about how I feel like Sayori's route, it much more started from a blank slate and then kind of developed from there, you know, especially with the Yuri side story interactions there versus this where they kind of... In Yuri's route, they kind of start off in their own, like, typical, like, character tropes and then move on from there, right? You know, and then Monica exclusive kind of gave us some also context for what would have been for there. So, it's not how I see things. She doesn't back down. So, the question, stare at her. I'd break up with you. You know, I'd, I'd dump you in a heartbeat, right? Like, what are you looking for there? I'm an ugly freak with these horrible scars. 
you're actually fucking kidding me, dude. Like, why do I have this fucking choice? Literally, it's a one word difference. Don't please don't tell me that this choice actually makes a difference. Or as there, can I save the game, please? I keep. Don't tell me this choice actually makes a difference. So again, we're gonna go with the top one, right? We we generally been the more like assertive, you know, consistent, you know, commit. Like again, because it is genuinely not clear, right? You know, again, it reminds me back to longer roads when I got two out of the four endings wrong, right? And that was only one choice. So uh, for this again, we're gonna go with the top one, right? Is again this saying the bomb one separates them, right? Versus where this these are, you know, an inherent part of her, right? At least in the present. So they're not horrible. Your scars are beautiful. No, they aren't. They're nothing but hideous. Ugly. Oh shit, we made what? I don't even care at this point, right? But you might. Damn, it's okay because I'd rather not. To... Well, shit, I guess we'll we'll fucking dump you, right? You know, let's go with Sayori, right? No, mostly drink. Must be a talk about. I can hardly blame her for wanting to do some. Sure. Damn. So we picked the wrong one. Oh well. You know, I have because it's just genuinely not clear, and it's like because probably it's quite possible. I keep fucking click. Holy shit. Because I was gonna say I'm not sure if any of these actual choices matter, right? You know, this one maybe, but okay, this one might have actually you know mattered, but. You know, because would you try cooking? Because again, that's what led to this. But you no, know, who knows? There, I'm gonna come across an exciting dish online. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Let's see, it's just surprised again, right? Because it's cope, right? <laughs> you know, let's let's be real here. Strepsy does require fresh vegetables. I mean, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Do you have any daikon? Nope. We're we'll start cooking. He's like, I literally don't even know what that is. Take that as a no. I think the vegetable shop is some. Lead the way. Hey Yuri. Yes. Let me see. You don't want. Just know if you ever want to talk about like, then I'll always listen. It's a quiet pause. Thank you. I'll do my best to. Because again, like just being, having a listening ear, right? It's daunting, but grateful I was able to tell. And again, you know, who knows what other, like if she gets actual help, right? It'd been easy as we share a smile. Things will be okay. Well, shit. Fuck off with that transition, bro. Let's see. It's Monday, God. I've never hated him. Okay. I'm supposed to focus after shit you don't, you know. Just stay home at Yuri. Dude, she lives in her own place. <laughs> Until talking to, I can truly understand. That's that's the issue. You can't be with each other twenty four seven, right? You definitely want. To, it's like you you need some separation. You need some time to yourself, right? I thought missing school. So I have all these problems, even bullies. It's kind of strange. I mean, it's dude. That's literally the norm. Like I feel like, like, you know, unless like unless you're like sick, right? You're pretty much or like going through some shit. Like you're going to school. Like I don't like if you're the type of person like skip or like cut class. Like okay, in college. College, different story, because it's a lot more, like, flexible. But because of how regimented high school is, right, it's like, you know, I've, I don't feel like you're doing that. And if you are, it's like, okay, you know, how is it, like, gotten to this point to where you need to do that, right? But it's like, you know. And there's a total workbook for him. She's got to feel at least some reluctance. The bad days are, I mean, yeah, because it's like, but it's also something where, like, you know, once you go home, you have all that time to yourself. Tell her and she's alone between the club. Dude, like, you don't even know these people. Like, He's like, oh, I can pinpoint them with, uh, I, I know, I know I have their profile, their outline, right? It's like, you know, the equation can't be easy to go to school. This can be strong on exam days. Oh, it's an exam day too? She cuts, she's feeling overwhelmed at school. You already know this because she said she did it in the bathroom. So I'm worried about you're like that. Is this doubt well placed? Doubt's the wrong word. It, it, like, I mean, it's like, he he already knows this though. If you're seeing her arm, I don't even know if she's cutting anywhere else. Probably your legs done right there's only so much that's why i'm like you know other like your, all your limbs so guilty i want to change i see yuri just can't help it do i ignore a tree normally still have to be you you need to get her some actual fucking help you can't like you know do this all on your own that's the big thing because you get into this kind of cycle of thought it's like okay what do what, what can i do what can i do right sometimes you just can't right i don't know if she harms she can't do what she's talking to when she's alone i said she doesn't want her feelings come to head a freak Corner. She started calling herself that on her own accord. She internalized others' words. So shut the fuck up. Literally, you weren't even a part of the previous drop. This time, I swear. See, I don't catch you sleep. How about you shut the? How about you kill yourself? Like you got it. No, it's your zone out the whole day. Anything? Is it already the end of the day? No, I've just been thinking about stuff. It's none of your business. Hey, why are you asking, dude? He could not. He's he literally asked her like, "What would you define freak as? Like, what kind of question is this? A freak would be a person who's abnormal. I mean, that's it." And you say, I'm a freak. Yeah, you're a fucking freak, bro. Freak would be abnormal and a grotesque. Again, you know, because here's the thing. Like, let's be real here. Like, half of the people are probably like the fucking MC, you know. And chances are, they're more like, they're the norm. It's just that, you know, obviously you hide it. Because, like, what would you call it? Like, not, I don't even want to say stigma. It's more so just that it's like, 
it's not like a flex to like live like the MC. Let's be real here, but plus I'm freaking a mean spirit, man. There are those are different definitions. Yeah, it's like, what kind of fucking question is this, dude? Someone bullying you? And again, you know, that because that's why it's like that that'd be the assumption. It's like someone call you that. Like, thanks for the concern. Relax. That's why you like to hear the representative. She generally cares. I mean, but still, the issue being, you know, how many she can't have conversations like this with everyone. That's kind of the inherent fundamental reality, right? You know, let's say in a classroom of like 20, like 30, well, not even 30, like 20 people. She can't like, because this is kind of the inherent issue with like this style of like, lead. this is going to go off on a tangent, but it's like, you know, you can care about people, but it's like when you, you become, what would you call it? When you end up in charge of more and more people, you can't like do this to everyone. You know, it's not about, oh, she genuinely cares about you as an individual, right? Because you can ask these questions. You can care about people, right? But it's like only to a certain extent when you're looking at 20, 30, 40 plus people, right? It's like, okay, you know, what are you doing? Because at that, it's more, at that point, it's more so about shaping the environment. You know, what you're sort of pushing or, you know, putting forth, you know, to kind of, you know, change things and the way things go, as opposed to you walking up to every single person being like, oh, how was your day? You know, what kind of share are you going through? It's like, that's just kind of, you know, how, how it is. Like, I hate to put it that way, but it's like, at that point, you know, when you're at that level, it's more so about shaping the environment rather than, you know, individual interactions and conversations with ours. You know, if you have anything else, I'll be here. My duties class rep is your friend. We're in the same class. I'll be sure to vote for you again. Shit, there's a vote. It's like, what the fuck? In the electric club, what are you doing after school? In the kento club. That's like freaking sword fine, right? You're part of the band. Didn't know you did kendo. Sure, I'm pretty good. That's that's sword fine, right? This is literally Natsuki. I'm trying to climb up the ranks. I'll be captain of the team. Dream to become, it's literally, yeah, it's sort of I'm sure you will. Bell rings, interrupt our conversation. We gotta go. See ya. Have fun. No words, Yuri, as I leave the classroom. It's not too much for her if I continue talking to her about everything. I mean, it, but it's also, you need to get her some actual professional, you know, help, right? You know, you can't do all this shit on your own. Damn, she's here, right? Want to get going? Of course. I'm in, in silence for a bit. It's like Yuri Seeger's weighing down me well you also can't talk about in the fucking hallway right you know this one was making things weird <laughs> snap out let's just lay in the mood for the lunch club it's more so any our day i mean it's like you know why is there something special no it's just it feels normal to be going to club after what happened on the weekend just yeah it's like shut the fuck up it's like it's like things would change here we are doing the same as the usual not doing the thing same things bad enough you know, sorry for constantly talking about it. no it's fine so natural and again you know because it's like you literally just found out change necessarily bad Fearing to be able to share these feelings again because it's like before she's just bottling them all up and now you know if she actually gets some medical fucking professional help right so hang against mine because we grab hold of it I'm really glad that change happened club room step inside seems like and shit it's like you know when's the last time we had a fucking club meeting like let's be real here i don't, I don't remember the last time you know it wasn't the last time whoa look at the, the love birds are late the secret tryst because again we also know that they kind of you know they did they made things official right with themselves but I guess, I yeah, no, they made things official with themselves, but they didn't make things, you know, official with the club yet. But they they basically just assumed that anyway, right? Just because of how painfully obvious it was. This face, it makes me, even me feel embarrassed. Besides, you're not even late. Thou, thou doth protest too much, methinks. Save it, Shakespeare. That is that from Shakespeare. I need it. Oh, well, shit. No shit, Sherlock. Like, what did you think, you know, that sound was from? Hamlet. Thou doth, I actually read Hamlet, you know, thou doth protest too much, methinks. Uh, shit. No, I didn't read Hamlet. I Hamlet. I met, I read Macbeth, different one. No, every single literary reference. Don't tell me we're going to start you know, on Shakespeare. Shit, you know, when did flick then? It's like, shit. Maybe next one, right? Not right now. I can't tell she's being serious enough. Maybe next year. So now everyone's hearing star mean. Yeah, I'm like shit. You know, when's the last time we had an actual mean? I, I honestly don't remember. It wasn't in the previous part. You know, it's the original not reorganized Nazis manga. Or, but here's the thing. Chances are, because again, this goes with how smart Natsuki is too. And the fact that Sayori basically, you know, is the only one who's like confirmed or like, you know, actually, you know, ended up confirming or like cementing her belief in, you know, sort of, you know, I guess suspicion about, you know, the MC and Yuri, right? Like chances are, if I did that, they'd be talking about them. And especially kind of how smart Natsuki is. Like she's my least favorite, but you got to give credit where Christ due. She's she's really smart. So it's like she, she picks up on this shit, you know? What's that supposed to mean? So it means you two are slow pokes. Yeah, what a coincidence. On um, good fun. It's like it, it's one of those, oh, we were right on time, you know, when it's like, okay, you know, you're right on time, but you're still the last one here, and you're the last one here every single fucking day. When do over the weekend. I mean, it's kind of surreal to think about where people are going about their days normally while you and I 
I mean, shit, you know, nothing, right? Chances are homework and manga, literally the norm. You know, me, I'm back home. Sounds about right to do some part-time work. Oh, what kind of work? Oh, something here. Like, brah, it's like, what, who do you think I am? Who is, you know, this is, uh, 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 what did you do? She's like, you know, damn, you got me. She's like, how, how the fuck did she know? She wants to talk about giving her son change. Imagine if it was actually right. Maybe she is, dude, that'd be crazy. Well, I guess shit, we'll fucking see in her route, right? You know, we'll see next. But also, like, let's look at this line from Sierra. I right? caught up on sleep. So she literally did not do anything, right? You know, like, let's be honest here. It's like, because obviously we know she puts it this way, but we probably know, you know, she was alone with her thoughts, right? And again, especially with, we'll, again, it'll be interesting to see. It doesn't really seem like they're doing much with her right now, right? But it'll be interesting to see how they can at least connect that with Yuri. Potentially, if she if she does actually have her own sneaking, you know, suspicion about Seward, right? Sleeping every day is knowing, I mean, shit, if you're exhausted, you can never have too much. Definitely. I never have enough sleep. And again, Monk is on the flip side. She's like, bitch, I was fucking working till like 2, 3 a.m. I, I go to sleep, get up at 6 a.m., you know, chug on two cups of coffee and then go about my day on three hours of sleep, right? Like that's 100% the type of person Monk is, right? I know for me, I, I got like zero sleep this week. You know, I think over, and this is just due to the work, right? I said high stress, you know, um, I got probably, this is, this was the worst week of sleep for me. This is going to sound crazy, but I probably got about like eight hours of sleep Monday through Thursday for those days. I got about like two hours of sleep each night. Granted, I was doing shit all day. So, you know, I was exhausted and I was tired, but it wasn't like I was freaking like lounging around and falling asleep. Right. But it's like, you know, luckily for these past couple of days, I've, I've went to bed early. Like I've slept maybe like 10, 11 like hours these past couple of days. So I definitely caught up, but it's like, you know, cause here, here's the thing. Also, we know just, this is going over this shit. Right. But we know that that literally isn't the case for Sayori. Her saying sleep is code word for being alone with your thoughts, right? You know, she didn't spend the weekend with anyone. So, but again, Monica's like, she's not blaming. She's like, shit, I wish I had the fucking time to sleep in, right? You know, besides this, uh, where I smile. You have cram school and test practice, right? You have to deal with the classroom and club duties. Well, shit, you know, cram school, is cram school on the weekend? I actually have no clue. Tennis practice probably goes on the weekend. Like I did weekend practice. Well, we only did Saturday. We didn't do stuff on Sunday. We did Saturday practices for uh, both running and wrestling, right? Um, granted, fine enough for running, we were expected to run on our own Sunday, but I just never did that shit. So let's be real here, right? Maybe that's what limited me from being like a fucking, you know, like what would you call it? like I was varsity, but I wasn't like you know, like star, like you know, captain, like state level. Maybe that's why. But I was like, I just never did that shit. And then yeah, wrestling we do shit on a Saturday, right? But it's like, or we have a meet or something, right? But again, you know, classroom and club duties, yeah. Don't, okay, there's no way you're doing shit for that during the fucking weekend. Maybe you are, but that that actually sucks ass if you are, but geez, humble brag. Yeah, it's literally like, hey, chill the fuck out. Like, I, I know someone who's legit like this, but it's like, here, here's the thing. Like, Monica needs to be like, yeah, you know, damn. Like, she could have ended it at this line. Like, I can relate to that. You know, I wish I got more sleep or something, right? Like, you can never get, you actually can get too much sleep. The big thing is that, you know, because I don't even think it's necessarily a sleep thing. I think it's more of a productivity thing. Like, if you're... Cause it's not even, cause people have like night shifts and stuff. I think it's something where it's like, you know, if, cause just think about how much of your life you sleep, right? If you're getting like, you know, in cause it's not even necessarily sleep. I'd say if you're someone who like sleeps and then like naps, you know, when you have a full night's sleep, it's like, okay, you know, then that's kind of the, where it becomes an issue. Right. But if you just get like, like, again, I got like what, 10, 11 hours, but like I got up, you know, still relative. I went to bed early. I think I went to bed at like 10 and I got up at like nine. So it's like, you know, like still gain up relatively early and doing shit, but it's like, that's just because of how sleep deprived I was from this week. But it's like, the thing with this is like, if, if I were to do that and then like take a nap today, that's like, okay, you know, it's like, that's like, that's overkill. Right. But, you know, but anyway, back to Monica, it's like, damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's not as if we didn't know that show, right. Never have time to yourself. Cause again, we also know that that's her issue here. Right. And we would have seen that more on her route if it existed. So busy. It's kind of a foreign concept. I mean, it's just like eating because you need to eat. You can combine eating with free time. And then same thing with sleep, right? You know, what little sleep you do get, you know, and, and like hygiene shit like that, right? So you get for sign up for so many things. But again, we know that's not on her own volition, our own terms. I mean, look at her sprite here, right? Who's surprised what a single person capable of? Well, shit, that's what, you know, it's not sustainable for the long term. That's why it's just a short term. It's just an exaggeration. I mean, that's, I guess that's kind of like me with Kane, like, you know, eight hours of sleep, like over four days you know, and then like doing physical like shit, you know, during that's why like, cause if I was just lounging around, my ass would be sleeping. Right. But I, I had to actually like do shit, you know? So it's like, you know, it puts you in perspective, like shit, I really just did that. Right. And now I'm sleeping like 
10, 11 hours to catch up. But it's like, it's like, damn, I really did that. You know, it's really crazy what we can be capable of, but yeah, at least in terms of like short term, right? Because that's not sustainable. That's the big thing. It's not sustainable long term. Monkey situation is sustainable long term, but you know, in the short term, it's crazy what we can actually like kind of do and accomplish. So, face physically falls. It sounds kind of hellish. And again, we know a lot of downsides because we know it's also not by choice, right? You know, hanging out with friends at side school. No, <laughs> you know, we already know the answer to that. I mean, <laughs> maybe cram school, but that's that's a, yeah, in cram school she can. You know, but it's like the big thing there is that's like because it's if you do this to yourself, it's like, okay, you know, that's on you. Right. But especially if it's outside of your control, what do you do? Yeah, it's like, okay, you know, we don't need to continue this conversation. But again, we also know what it goes to with them. Right. So you plain glance. You're not hung out. Damn, that's crazy. Who could have guessed? Talked a lot about stuff. Well, it's like, damn, who would have guessed? You know, it's legit like that is like the least surprising thing that has been said out of this group of people. Saving the PDA for the weekends, public display of perfection, right? Because it's also like, here's the thing, though. We also know that, you know, we know the truth, but they don't, right? Because everyone else's assumption, except for maybe like, let's say, Sayori, or even potentially Natsuki, it's like, you know, like the assumption is like, oh, you know, they just see couple shit. But obviously, because none of them know about the deeper issues, right? But it's like, you know, what the fuck? Natsuki pantomimes. Why is it? The MC's like really taking after Yuri with all these fucking words. Like, what is pantomimes even mean, right? pantomimes a type of musical comedy stage that's 100 not what it's supposed to be like yeah start damn i'm gonna return to all this teasing is tenfold he's like i'm gonna remember this isn't that right yuri i suppose so looks like we all have ex- supremely exciting lives but again here's we're really living on edge damn what a coincidence so is yuri but here's the thing because we all know that they're probably hiding some shit right you know, cause here's the thing. So Natsuki, we don't know what a part-time work is. That's like the most like sus thing you br- you bring up. It's like, oh yeah, I work part-time. And then you don't specify what it is. Sayori, she said she just slept, but we know that means code word, keyword being alone with your own thoughts. Monica is just fucking way too busy to like do anything. Right. You know, probably cry herself to sleep. And we know what the MC and Yuri did. He both the assignment share out poetry. He's like, he's like, I kind of have to talk He's like, oh, dude, come on. Just don't even make an excuse. Like, d- come on, dude. Because now this makes it even seem like, dude, like you literally just talk with her over the weekend, right? But this is like, dude, just own up to it. Be like, oh shit, I forgot. Like, don't, <laughs> come on, man. So you curious look. All right, we can just, it might be a long, dude, shut the fuck up. Just own up to it, man. Like th- you got to dog the MC on this. Everyone else okay with that? And nods. Dude, don't take too long. I'm going to take his dude. Come on, bro. Seriously. Cause even Yuri's going to hear and be like, seriously, like, dude, just own up to it. Right. Let's step outside. Dude. Come on, man. So that's what you want talking to me about. Oh, well, to be honest, I need a distraction. I forgot to write a poem. Dude. Like if I'm Yuri hearing this, I'm like, come on, dude, just own up to it. Like, dude, like it's not that serious. This isn't like a fucking graded event. Like, sorry, wait, don't go back in. Smiles patronizingly. Thanks for putting up with that. Now I think about, there's something I want to talk to you about but during the con wait why the fuck are you going to tell it what is this fucking change in theme dude but actually funny enough this is actually a really good place to leave off so that's what i'm gonna do because again this is this is the conversation that needs to happen like he's not he can't fix her alone right you know she needs more like not just the club members right but also actual medical professional help but with that i'm gonna hear this is really all i need to this is actually a pretty good standpoint so but that that's all I really got for this one. And I will upload the previous one for this. So they should both be up by tonight, February uh, 18th, right? But with that, so I've got for this one. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.